This has praline. Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everybody. I am, oh gosh, okay. You remember me? I have been gone for a while, you guys. This is my first video of the new year. Y'all, I was sick like just about three times in a row the end of last year. I entered into the new 2024 year with a cold. My voice was completely gone. I couldn't record anything. And I was like, man, that sucks. <laughs> But um, I'm so glad to be back. Um, this past weekend, I went to Philly and I had the best time. All my people from Philadelphia, shout outs to you. Every time I go to that city, it's always a good vibe. It's always a good time. The food is amazing. Even for me as a vegan, you can find just about anything you want there. It's just, it's an amazing place to be from, to live in. So um, shout out to all my people that are from Philly. So yes, I wanted to start this video off by saying I miss you guys. Do you miss me? You wanna give me a hug? Come give me a hug. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've gotten that out the way. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Muffet and I am here to share with you everything that I love. That's why my channel is called Muffet's Loves. And what I actually wanna do this year is kind of explore more um, into doing different videos and showing you guys my love for other things. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys stick with me, but you know what? We gotta do what makes us free. So this video is gonna be a tag um, by Roxanne's Retreat. Hey girl, hey! I hope you're doing well, girl, my Caribbean sister. So today I'm, I'm gonna share with you perfumes in my collection that are considered solo dolo, meaning that I only have one of the fragrances that are in their entire fragrance line. Um, I wanna add a little twist on this video because yes, I do have one perfume from each of these houses. However, there's a reason why. These are the perfumes that I've had the chance to smell other fragrances in their house and I just wasn't a fan of what I smelled so far. Not that I'm not a fan of the house, but um, these are the only child and they will probably be the only child from the house. I could be wrong, never say never, but um, I just kind of wanted to add that spin on for you guys. Guys, don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. And also don't forget to click that bell so you know of the next time that I upload the video. Y'all, please comment. I legit miss y'all. I wanna talk to you guys and communicate with you, see how you guys are doing. Yeah, I, I really can't wait for that. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first perfume that I'm gonna bring up is none other than Thamines Peregrina. I first heard Abby with Love speak about this perfume and I just had to get a sample of it. And once I did, I fell in love, you guys. This is a gorgeous unisex, ambery, powdery rose with some caramel and some vanilla in it. It is the perfect unisex um, balance that uh, I think a perfume can have. Not too feminine, not too masculine. The note that stood out to me the most in this fragrance is the damask rose. I am really in love with that note. Most of the times when I do smell this note, I can point it out. I can really find it in a fragrance. This is an absolute beautiful perfume. So in the mall, there's a store that has all of the perfumes from this brand. So I went over there and I tried out every single one and y'all, I didn't like anything. Peregrina was the only perfume that I liked. Um, I tried Blue Heart, I tried all these other ones and I was just like, ooh. Uh, no, uh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the only baby, the only child that I have from Thamine as of today. Who knows if they come out with any more fragrances and I may fall in love with those. But as for right now, this is my only Thamine baby. All right, so this is Thamine's Peregrina. Up next is a fragrance that is one of the two of my most favorite Lactonic fragrances, and uh, that is none other than Liquid Imagineers Blanche Bet. I sampled this and fell in love. I bought it immediately, and I had to. I slowed down on using this just because it's um, gotten really low. Oh my gosh. The amount of milk that is in this fragrance is the perfect amount. It's not too milky like that other one, um, the Bianco Latte one. I can't, I cannot do that one. That one's too much milk for me. 
The vanilla, the musk, and the tonka bean in the base are the perfect finish. You have some tuberose, vanilla, cacao bean, musk, like it is the perfect milky balance. It's it's smooth, it's beautiful, it's calming, it's, it's professional. You can literally wear this in any environment, you guys. And I really am in love with this fragrance, however, I have smelled other perfumes that are in this house and I have yet to find another um, Liquid Imagineer perfume that I would purchase. Um, so this is my only baby from Liquid Imagineers. Now I also know there's some controversy about um, this sign right here. Um, I forgot what it's called, but um, I've seen enough to where I'm just like, you know what, I don't know if I'm gonna purchase this uh, fragrance again once it's gone. I've noticed that I don't wear it as much just because of the fact that this symbol is on there and what it means. I'm not gonna, you know, get too much into that. You guys are welcome to um, study that on your own. What was a, a turning point for me with this fragrance was when I wanted to sample this for a friend of mine. Now, as a friend, I'm gonna make sure that I have your back, that I am that person that you can rely on. I'm that person where you will feel safe because I am that friend that you will have for the rest of your life. That's me right there. So just having myself in the whole protective mode, when I was trying to sample this for a friend of mine, I couldn't do it. Knowing the symbol that is on this fragrance, I could not it did not sit well with me to go ahead and sample this for someone else. So that for me was a turning point to where I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of going to put this down. I don't want there to be any detriment to any friend of mine and let alone myself. And so I rarely wear this even myself and I don't know, I'm kind of on the the fence if I'm gonna sell this or not I don't know but um, this is still overall a beautiful fragrance this is my only baby from liquid Imagineers I I really I've smelled Dom Rosa I've smelled some others and it's just it just nothing ever stood out to me so um so yeah this is still a beautiful fragrance this is Blanche Bet by liquid Imagineers the next fragrance I'm gonna bring up is a perfume that a lot of you guys are in love with. This I would consider to be a cult classic. Um, this is none other than Commodity Milk. This is a gorgeous lactonic fragrance. It has some powdery notes in there. I would say the difference between this perfume and the Blanche Bet, this is creamier. This has added marshmallow in there and this also has like a nice damp mahogany base which makes it seem like all the goodness, all the sweetness of this perfume is just being soaked into that piece of wood. This is gorgeous. It absolutely is. So I've smelled other fragrances from Commodity and I do like them. However, I didn't find myself to be that in love with them that I would purchase anymore from that brand. Um, never say never, but still, as of right now and for the foreseen future, I only see myself having commodity milk from this brand. Um, I will buy this over and over and over again. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is commodity milk. Next up is a fragrance that I don't believe that I've discussed too much. I don't wear it that often, but I still feel like it's a beautiful fragrance that works for all year round. This is none other than Yin Transformation by The Harmonist. Y'all, this is an awesome, floral, fresh, powdery fragrance. And this also has an aquatic touch to it. I think this fragrance is unisex. This has floral notes that include iris. There's also some sandalwood in here, ylang ylang. Uh, yes, this is a gorgeous fragrance. I've smelled other fragrances. Actually, I've smelled all the other fragrances that belong to the Harmonist, and this is my only um, one. This is the only perfume that I fell in love with. This is my solo dolo perfume from the Harmonist. The next solo dolo fragrance that I am bringing up is none other than Plume Impressions Pop Heart, you guys. I got this around, I would say, fall of last year. I fell in love with the caramel that goes with all those juicy fruits that are in this fragrance. You have pineapple in here, you have raspberry. Of course, you have caramel, you have some apple in here. Y'all, just imagine those together and there's a, the, the apple in here is a green apple and it leaves this like crisp juiciness 
to this fragrance. Oh, you guys. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Of course, there's some vanilla and musk in the base, but you guys, I just feel like this is a perfume that when you inhale it, you're going to have a smile on your face just because it just smells so pleasant. And this smells like a good day. This is a good day in a bottle. I've smelled other fragrances um, that are in the same house. They are nice. I do feel like this company captures the outdoors very, very well when it comes to like green, earthy fragrances. If you guys are really, really into that note, I would definitely suggest you check out the uh, entire um, house because there is not one. I don't remember, when I, when I tried out all of their uh, scents, I don't think, I don't remember there being one that I did not like. They do the outdoorsy type of scent very very well however this one stands out from the rest of them you guys this pop heart is a gem and i will continue to repurchase this check out pop heart guys but yeah this is my solo dolo only baby from plume impressions up next is a gorgeous, joyful gourmand fragrance that I wore a lot in the summer of 2023 and I will be wearing a lot come spring and fall of this year. And that is none other than Buntalenti by Perfumo di Firenze. Uh, Y'all, this is a compliment getter. I get so many compliments when I wear this fragrance. It has great projection. I would say this is a good um, maybe five hours on me i don't mind refreshing but y'all mm, 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 mm. mm. okay you have your banana you have your apricot you have your peach you have berries you have vanilla guys like just imagine it's like this is a fruit salad <laughs> And this is all happening at the top. And then you have some coconuts, y'all. You have caramel in here as well. You can't go wrong. All these notes, with all these notes, you cannot go wrong. If you ever go wrong, something wrong with you. <laughs> this also has toffee and musk in there. This here, Buntalenti, is so delicious. It's classy. Oh my gosh. This is a foodie perfume. However, it's not, I feel like it's not too foodie. There's still a perfume aspect in this fragrance. I've smelled other uh, fragrances from this brand and I am not, I haven't smelled all, but I have smelled some fragrances from this house and I look forward to getting to know this house some more. So I wouldn't say that um, this is gonna be my only fragrance from this brand. However, I just, I am in love with Buntalenti. But as of right now, this is the only perfume that I have from this house. So, hey boo. So this here will be worn the mess out of again come spring and come fall of this year. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Next up is a beautiful raspberry fragrance that I found last year, and this is Vicanto's Strick Nina. I first heard about this fragrance from Sheree, or Sheree, Sheree, I will put her um, page down below. She would talk about this all the time and I'm like, yo, I have to get my nose on it. And I ended up blind buying this fragrance from soavantgarde.com. Um, there was a great deal on it. I was like, you know what? I, I have a feeling it's gonna be good. And it sure enough was. Sorry guys, my battery died on me. <laughs> Anyways, this is a passion fruit, raspberry, peach fragrance. There's musk and vanilla in the base, and this also has some sweet notes. You know how those gummy candies smell? That's um, also in there as well. This is a gorgeous fragrance. I love the design of the bottle as well. So pretty. But this is the only fragrance that I have from this line. I've smelled others and um, wasn't that crazy about it. So, But I haven't smelled all of the house. So I know there's still more that I have to learn about this house. But as of right now, this is my only Vicanto fragrance. The next Solo Dolo fragrance I have is a unique fragrance because it is an oud fragrance. And last year I did learn later in the year that I love the agard wood note. So this perfume is none other than Rose Load by Boy Smells. This is a gorgeous rose um, oud fragrance. There's a sharpness from the rhubarb in here. You also have red berries. You have some cardamom in here. In the base you have some sandalwood and papyrus. I feel like this is a very light, airy sharp oud rose 
if that makes sense to you. It's airy because of the rose, it's sharp because of the rhubarb, but then you also have that, that aromatic smell that's coming from the agarwood in this fragrance. And the papyrus, you do get a slight papery note that's in the background. Um, I think this is a gorgeous fragrance. So I've smelled other fragrances from this line and unfortunately I haven't found any that I have liked thus far. Um, even that new vanilla fragrance they came out with, it, oof, it, was, it wasn't my zhuzh. It was a very green masculine type of vanilla fragrance and I find that their brand, I find that their perfumes are, they kind of lean more towards the uh, masculine side. But um, this as of right now, this is my Solo Dolo Boy Smells Baby. Next up is a vanilla Solo Dolo fragrance that I got last year and I have put a huge dent in here, y'all. Ugh, okay, so. <laughs> you know, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, but this is none other than Fire at Will by Javoy Paris, you guys. Look at my beautiful dent. <sighs> Look at that. Mm. Anyways, this is a brown sugar vanilla fragrance with a slightly powder note in there from the mimosa. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is simple. It is straight to the point. Oh, I absolutely love the brown sugar that is in this fragrance. It is, it holds its ground. With all the vanilla notes and the amber and the musk and the powdery notes from the mimosa, that vanilla still pierces through all of those other notes. This is a gorgeous, sweet vanilla fragrance. It's a classic. And I feel like any woman of any age would definitely enjoy this fragrance. Now I've smelt others from the line, of course, but they didn't hit me like this one hit me. I smelled Remember Me, I smelled a couple others, but this is the only one that stood out to me the most. So this is my Solo Dolo Baby from Javoy Paris. This is Fire at Will. Last but not least is a brand by Uniki Luxury. This is a very unique, <laughs> it's a unique fragrance from Uniki Luxury. You get it? Anyways, <laughs> but this is called Mashi Muro, and this is a marshmallow incense -y, prominent perfume. And I know a lot of people have had problems with this smell, but I really, really liked it. Oh man, this fragrance has praline also in there and it has rose. It also has some cashmere and musk. And I feel like those notes help to soften up that strong incense note that is in there. If those notes weren't in here, Y'all, I wouldn't be having this fragrance, I can guarantee you, because the incense is very strong. However, I do feel like it's very smoothed out and balanced from all the additional notes that are in the middle and the base. You have some Lily of the Valley and some Milk in the base, and I just think this is a great, um, unique take on a marshmallow fragrance. And um, I have smelt other perfumes from this brand, and I am actually interested in making more purchases from this brand, from this house. So um, yeah, for now, this is my Solo Dolo fragrance from Uniki Luxury. However, I do plan on checking out more of their fragrances. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my first video of 2024. We have gone over all of my Solo Dolo fragrances that I have from various houses that are in my collection. And um, share with me down in the comments, let me know what you think about my choices. Do you only have some Solo Dolo fragrances in your collection? Let me know what those are. Um, let me know if you think that I should try any other specific fragrances that are in any of the houses that I mentioned today. I am definitely open to trying those out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and definitely comment down below because I'd love to talk to you. Click on that bell so you know of the next time that I upload a video. Until the next time, you guys make sure you take care of yourself and that you enjoy life, all right? Bye.